The Costa Deliciosa is one of the world's great super cruisers, a glitzy floating resort on her way to Egypt and Israel. For the crew, this is no party. This is a cabin inspection. Any alcohol? I hate rules. Can't do this and don't do this. It's long hours, tough rules, and zero tolerance. We don't want this kind of crew member. No secrets and no holes barred. Why? Come with us as we pull back the covers on Cruise Ship Diaries. Captain Pietro Sinisi is sailing the Costa Deliciosa into Safaga. So our gangway is forward. It's been a long night. The ship has recently sailed through a red zone, a stretch of ocean known for dangers like pirate attacks. When the ship is in a red zone, the captain must be on the bridge as much as possible. I do all the things following the procedure. The behavior of the captain have to be perfect. He's been under pressure. Today, the ship will dock in Safaga, Egypt, far enough away from the recent political unrest in the country. Everybody know the rules. It's important that all uh, the crew move uh, the ship in the same direction. We don't want anyone that pull the ship on the right, on the left. We don't want this kind of crew member. Cabin inspections are part of ship life. And this morning, Susie's cabin is under the microscope. Hello, good morning. This is a cabin inspection. May we come inside? Oh, good morning, good morning. Good morning. Do you mind if I come inside have a look? No, as you may. Thank you so much. Sure, I didn't know four people can fit in here. <laughs> well, 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 well. <laughs> the security team search for forbidden objects or anything that might pose a health or safety risk. They also check that Susie is keeping things clean. It's uh, only you at the moment here, no? Yes. OK. Let me have a look inside the bathroom as well. No, go for it. I hate rules. I cannot stand it. Why must you be like that, man? Why? <laughs> they make it really unpleasant for us, which is ridiculous. Why would they do that? Seriously. Any alcohol? No. 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 Okay. No. Va bene. Okay. Thank you, Susie. Va bene. Okay. Grazie. Thank you very much indeed. Thank Sorry if we disturbed you. Eh? No. 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 No worries. Thank you. You're welcome. Ciao. Ciao. You just have to go, this is how it is, and that's it. As guests disembark, a sandstorm is brewing. But it won't deter them from travelling inland to the ancient city of Luxor. This is one of the highlights of the voyage. The temples of Karnak in Luxor are one of the finest examples of Egyptian design and architecture. They were built by 30 pharaohs over 1,500 years. It's one of the most visited sites in Egypt, but with the recent political upheavals, there are fewer tourists today than usual. While guests are ashore, the chefs in the galley are preparing for gala night. A grand feast will be served this evening. The housekeeping team also leap into action. Each cabin steward has about 15 minutes per cabin to make them shine. Andrea Stephen is a cabin steward from India. She's been a ship worker for more than five years. It's a tedious job. It's not a life you live for yourself. But when you're a giver rather than a receiver, you 
your more content. Working on ships allows Andrea to earn enough money to help support her family back in India and expand her own horizons. As a committed Catholic, the one place she longs to visit is the Church of the Holy Sepulchre in Jerusalem. Oh, I wish one day I would go there, you know. You would really feel like you, you're almost halfway to, to, to heaven, you know. Tomorrow. The ship will dock in Israel a few days from now, and she's put in a special request to take the day off. It's a big deal, and by no means a given. Housekeeping schedules are tightly managed. The cast is in the theatre early. They need to put the finishing touches on tonight's show. Although Daniel, the new singer, had a rough start, he's learning the ropes quickly. You know, when I think I first got on, I was a little bit like a deer in headlights, you know, trying to take this all in. And you think, whoa, what a party. <sighs> it's not so much of a party. Run, finish the choreography. You can't do this and you can't do this and don't do this. It just makes you want to do the opposite. They have to leave the theater. A new act needs the stage. The Shanghai stars have a lot to prove. This is their first contract with the ship. If the audience likes them tomorrow night, their contract is secure. Performance of every kind is watched closely. I have two infractions, fourth infraction. Fourth infraction. Infractions or warnings signed by the captain are handed out for misdemeanors, like not wearing a name badge, not attending safety drills, and for public affection in guest areas. Not many people like to be told what you can and can't do. You get five warnings and then you're off. And you know that you can get a warning for something silly. You know what I mean? Like, please, man. Okay. Down in the engine control room, Salvatore, the chief engineer, is also dishing out warnings. So why? 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 Don't steal the batteries. Batteries have gone missing from the stores, and cabin inspections revealed that some engineers were keeping tools in their cabins. This the cabin for sleep and for take your rest hours. He needs his team to focus. They are not home yet. One of the engineers Salvatore can always count on to follow the rules is Francesca Torquia, his protege. Salvatore is leaving her in charge today. He's going ashore. He's persuaded Captain Sinisi to take some downtime. They're going diving in the Red Sea. As soon as a captain goes ashore, the next most senior officer, the staff captain, is in charge. When has been the last time that we went out together? I suppose they're like old buddies, not old as in old people. <laughs> they enjoy each other's company and they enjoy spending their social time together because they have a lot of things in common, you know. They're responsible for big things, great things about the ship. Although this sea borders an area where conflict is often a part of everyday life, for divers, it's simply thought of as a paradise.
back on the ship, Andrea has a break between her shifts and heads down to the crew mess on deck A. No guests are ever allowed in crew areas, so this is one of the few places staff can fully relax. Andrea hasn't yet received any news about her request to visit Jerusalem. Time is getting tight. They will be docking in Israel soon. Meanwhile, chefs in the galley are preparing for gala night. This highly restricted area is where the chefs will prepare the thousands of plates of food that will be served. Arabian food is on the menu. Dinner will be served in the 1,276-seater Grand Albatross dining room. The captain and Salvatore are back in the port. It's business as usual. The ship is leaving in the next hour. The Shanghai stars have some forced downtime tonight. There is a local act from Safaga on stage this evening. The Shanghai stars don't speak much English, which makes socialising difficult. They seem to prefer time in their cabin instead of the crew bar, where most staff hang out when they're off duty. Here the crew can drink, but it's absolutely forbidden to get drunk. The crew bar is always monitored by security. The captain is ready to leave. But the ship can't leave until the local dance group from Safaga has finished their act and disembarked. Their performance has gone on longer than expected. Three minutes more, three minutes. Okay, thank you very much, guys. Bye. Okay. Francesca swaps her regulation overalls for formal dress. Part of an officer's duty is to attend gala night. The captain is also dressed for the occasion. He's one of the captains in the fleet that the female passengers definitely have a soft spot for. He's got a really great personality, young, and he's good looking. And you know, I mean, you can't ask for anything more when you're looking for a cruise ship captain. Kind of like movie star captain, you know? The full package. <laughs> While the executive staff dines with passengers, 
the housekeeping crew are still finishing off the night shift. For Andrea, it's then off to midnight mass in the ship's chapel on deck three. The ship has its own chaplain. ship is arriving in Israel. Before the ship docks, a specialized navigations officer, known as a pilot, will board the ship. As an expert on the area, his job is to guide the captain into the allocated docking position. No complications this morning. The ship docks without incident. Guests will begin disembarkation shortly. Many of them are heading for Jerusalem. Yes, sir, Bonjourna, this is Andrea. Yes, sir, tell me. Oh, okay, sir, thank you. At the last minute, Andrea gets yes, her pass yes, for the sir, day off. Very happy. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. One of the other cabin yes, attendants will cover for her. Yeah, bye-bye. More good news for Andrea. Because she's going on an excursion with the guests, she won't have to wait with the rest of the crew to check through security. Andrea's good news has travelled fast. A guest from one of her cabins is going on the same trip. Senor! <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. Have a good day, yeah. Thank you. Jerusalem is Israel's largest city and a melting pot of many different cultures and religions. Andrea plans to follow the Via Dolorosa, the route supposedly walked by Jesus as he carried his cross on the way to his death. It's not only Christians who are visiting Jerusalem today. The city plays a pivotal role in the Jewish, Christian and Muslim faiths. Andrea's first stop is the Western Wall, or Wailing Wall. It's a place of great religious significance to both Jews and Muslims. They just started to cry. The moment they touched the wall, they were, I don't know if they were really crying or it was the way they were praying. Okay. This is where he falls the second time. Oh, she's got a gun. That must be really heavy. Many Christians believe that the Church of the Holy Sepulchre is the holiest Christian site in the world as the place of Jesus Christ's crucifixion, entombment and resurrection. For Andrea, this is a sacred pilgrimage. She is told that this was the very slab where the body of Jesus Christ was prepared for burial.
on the ship, it's showtime for the Shanghai Stars. Despite their displays of near superhuman dexterity, nerves are getting in the way of perfection. Fortunately, the audience is understanding. But the team is less than happy. They've set themselves an extremely high bar. The ship is leaving Israel. Much to the relief of the captain, it will soon be out of uncertain waters. It's been a great day for Andrea, but it's back to work tomorrow. The Shanghai stars are told their contract is secure. It seems they impressed after all. The ship is almost home. But until then, the pressure is on. We have to give the general manager the signal. The final stretch of Pirate Alley lies ahead, and then it's home through the Suez Canal. Dramas on the high seas, all in cruise ship diaries.